Spoilers will be in this video from the off, so remember you've been warned. Queen Charlotte, a prequel and origin story to a character that we were familiar with from Bridgerton, was very much centred around love, and the story of how Queen Charlotte met King George III and stood by him throughout the entirety of their lives, no matter what troubles they endured. However, there was another love story that was within the show that I didn't expect to get so invested in, and this was one that didn't quite have the same satisfying resolution like we saw with Charlotte and George. This was the love story of Brimsley and Reynolds. However, with Reynolds not appearing in the present day and there being a lot of questions around where he was at the end, I thought I'd break down and explain what I think happened to him, and if he was still alive. So let's get into it. Here is what happened to Reynolds in the Queen Charlotte Netflix show. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So I feel there are a couple of different things that could have happened to Reynolds. We obviously saw that both Reynolds and Brimsley were intimate with each other throughout their time together when they were younger. Especially when the Queen and King were in the early days of their relationship. Brimsley and Reynolds were truly in love with each other and we saw that it was more than just a fling. As we saw it present throughout the entirety of when they were younger. With them both being sworn to a life of serving their superior, which was Brimsley to Queen Charlotte and Reynolds to King George III, there was no way that they would be able to live what could be called a traditional life, where one would be able to be with the other and they'd have their privacy, so they would never be able to get a happy ever after like regular folk. But we did see that they enjoyed happiness whilst together and working in the palace. The last time that we saw Reynolds, both himself and Brimsley were dancing together at an event on their own in private. This was in the past and then, as a transition happened, it turned into the present day and we saw that Brimsley was standing there on his own, dancing. Doing the same dance as he was all of those years ago, but this time carrying it out on his own. And it was from here where we never saw Reynolds again. I believe this means that there are three different fates that Reynolds could have met. The first is quite an obvious one. It would be obvious to presume that this meant that Reynolds died, and I think that could be a likely fate for him. In seeing how old they all were in the present day, there was no reason to say as to why that couldn't have been the case. Reynolds was most probably around the same age as King George, and George did look quite old when we saw him again. This would also explain the sad look that was present on Brimsley's face after being spotted dancing on his own. The look because he was still mourning Reynolds all of those years later and remembering the happy times that he had with him. The absence of Reynolds being alongside the king in his chamber in the present day and there being no reference of where Reynolds was by Queen Charlotte could imply that he was no longer around and hadn't been for a while, sadly meaning that he was most likely dead. An alternative theory that could imply that Reynolds did in fact survive and was still alive comes from the conversation that occurred during episode 6. When Queen Charlotte asked Brimsley if he had ever been married, he said no. And the reason he said was, who could I ever find who would be free to spend a lifetime with me? A rather powerful sentence. Brimsley served the king and queen and there was nobody else who would be able to put up with that in terms of the time that was required to be away from the family, unless they lived and worked in the palace, like Reynolds did. With the king being taken with ill health and being a shell of the person that he used to be, this could have meant that Reynolds no longer needed to be there by the king's side. As we saw, he wasn't present, nor did the king have anybody at all in his chamber, which could mean that Reynolds could have been relieved of his duties and they never sought a replacement, because the king's condition was at a point where he was just in his room all day and didn't require the full-time attention like before. This would also tie into the fact as to why Brimsley was so upset, because Reynolds may have been sent to work at a different part of the palace, which meant that their paths no longer crossed. Or it could have meant that he was relieved of his duties completely, and he was essentially allowed to leave the palace and find work elsewhere, which would also tie into the line that Brimsley said about how nobody would be free to spend time with him, because Reynolds would be busy leading his life outside. The final theory that's out there about the fate of Reynolds is the one that I think is the least likely out of them all. As Queen Charlotte went in to see King George in the final scene, she said to Brimsley that she didn't require him to follow her in there, and that she was capable of seeing him on her own. This would have been a time and a moment where ordinarily both Brimsley and Reynolds would meet and catch up with one another, sharing intimate moments and being present with just each other. And this could well have been the case. Reynolds could well be in ill health or merely not near the king's chambers at that time, and Brimsley could be going off to meet with him. 
According to the history books, towards the end of King George's life, apparently Queen Charlotte stopped visiting the king because she was fearful of going to see him on his own due to how severe his condition had gotten. So if they're saying that she also did that in the show, and that this was the first time that she was seeing King George in a long while, that could be the reason as to why Brimsley looked so sad only a few moments earlier, because he hadn't seen Reynolds in a long while, rather than the fact that he was mourning him. With Brimsley walking off into a different direction to the carriage, he could have been heading towards a slightly different location, the location where Reynolds was at during that point. I personally feel as though it's the least plausible theory that's out there, but it's a slightly nicer one to think about, rather than him being no more. The idea that both Brimsley and Reynolds got to see each other and spend time with one another one final time, and after a long while too. It's a much happier ending, but like I said, I'm not sure whether that's the case or not. The theory that I think is true, and the one that I think the show was trying to give off the impression and make all of us believe, was that Reynolds had died, and Brimsley was mourning his memory and was sad and suffering with loneliness. It does make the most sense due to the reactions that Brimsley had and the emptiness that felt present in his life when compared to his younger years, so I'm going to say that Reynolds is sadly no more. He's only a memory and an ache that exists in Brimsley's heart. Reynolds and Brimsley were two individuals that had no historical accuracy in the show and were made up for the purpose of the Bridgerton series. There would most definitely have been individuals that were in the roles that they were in in real life, but the names of them were not documented anywhere, nor was there a romance between them. So that's what makes this sadder, the fact that there's nowhere in the history books that has these people documented, as if there was, we would wholeheartedly know what happened to the character that made up one half of a romance that we didn't expect to get so invested in. Like Brimsley and Reynolds, Lady Agatha Danbury and Lord Ledger were also individuals that were made up for the purpose of the show, and didn't actually exist or have a relationship in real life. So if it makes it any easier, there's that to think about too. But personally, I think Reynolds had died by the time it got to the present day. So, there you have it. What happened to Reynolds in the Queen Charlotte Netflix show? If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think happened to Reynolds? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.